The last two videos that I did on foods that are banned elsewhere in the world but not in Europe led to a big conversation uh, of messages to me and it's something that I've heard 20, 30 plus times with my clients. Why can I not eat bread? Why am I gluten intolerant in America but I am not in Europe? I've heard it so many times. Why can I go to Europe and I can eat the bread, and I can eat the pasta, I can eat the pizza, I can drink the beer, I can have the right cocktails, but I can't do that in America. Mm. There's a lot of truth. There's a lot of truth here. So here we go. One, there's, uh, is there less gluten? Yeah, maybe, but that's not the big, real big reason. Uh, one, there are two different types of wheat, right? There's a wheat called hard red uh, wheat, uh, which America primarily uh, uses. And then there's the um, soft wheat, which Europe primarily uses. In fact, the soft wheat, only about 23% of American harvest is, is actually the soft wheat. Now, the reason we use the hard red wheat is, is kind of contrary to the way it sounds, but it actually gives us that softer, fluffier bread or, or, or wheat that, that, we kind of, that we kind of love here in America. So two different types of wheat, but what about how it's harvested? You know where I'm going with this, right? You know where I'm going with this. Uh, the gen genetically modified. So um, in America, we spray our the majority, vast majority of our crops, and that's our corn, our soy, and our wheat, with uh, Roundup. All right. So the active ingredient of Roundup is uh, glyphosate, and glyphosate. Uh, has an undeniable link to the huge spike in gluten um, sensitivity uh, and celiac disease that we see in this country. Um, if you have continued exposure to, to glyphosate, the, the problems can be a lot more serious. Um, you, you know, like leaky gut skin issues. I mean, if you're trying to, if you get leaky gut and you're trying to lose weight, increase your energy, change your body composition, good luck. So. And yes, so um, we can go back to the way uh, the harvesting techniques in this country because when we get this, these these um, genetically modified ingredients, they are either heavily regulated in um, in Europe or they are just completely banned. What else? What about the preservatives? You know when we say thank you for our daily bread. It's meant to be that, our daily bread. It's not meant to be, thank you for the bread that's been sitting on the shelf for two months, I'm still gonna eat it, right? So, a lot of times the products that are made in, in Europe, they're made to be consumed straight away. You're not, they're not sitting on a shelf. If your bread, whatever, whatever, has been designed in such a way that it can sit there for a while and not go moldy, then we're talking about the preservatives in the food. Uh, the preservatives in food can, um, if any food, not just, not just, um, bread-based products, but they can lead to uh, GI problems, skin conditions, respiratory problems, and, and, and more serious things. Uh, so, yes, uh, a lot of you could go to Europe and indulge in all your favorite foods that you're not able to in America, and that is, they're, they're the three reasons that I would say other reasons why, but also let's, let's not just get this to be a, um, a country thing, right? Because yes, we've got way more sensitivity, gluten sensitivity in this country, but it's not just a, oh, we're worse, they're better thing. Think about it generationally, right? Think about, ask your mom, ask, about, ask your grandmother, and you know, did they have gluten intolerances? I think not. I think this is a condition of the age and a condition of the practices most common in this day and age that were not around in the generation before us and definitely were not around in the generation before that. So, um, what am I trying to say here? If you want, if you want to eat your bread, go to Europe. <laughs> no. Um, we still have available to us freshly made bread that is not made with, uh, that has not been sprayed with, you know, has been sprayed with pesticides or, or your know, has preservatives in it. Again, it goes down to know what you're eating and know the source. Anyway, that's for now. If you like this sort of information, uh, guys, my programs are coming up. Peak Week is coming up in less than two weeks. But if you like this sort of information, check out my 21-day program. Uh, I'm full of this sort of stuff. All right, that's it for now. Bye.